Hello, it's Mikey's birthday tomorrow and I just went outside and bought some cake ingredients and we're gonna try to make his favorite cake which is orange fennel cake and he always gets it in his favorite bakery and now let's see if I'll be able to kind of make something similar and I just had such a weird encounter in the supermarket it was really crazy like the cashier suddenly started talking to me I don't know people sometimes just randomly start talking to me I guess I give good listening aura but she suddenly started talking and she didn't stop and it was so awkward because the guy behind me was already paying and I just stood there because she still kept talking to me and I was like can I leave now? <laughs> but anyway, she was super nice, but it was a bit awkward, especially what she said, like it was... But anyways, whatever. Let's go to baking. I had to go to the supermarket because of this, which is fennel seeds. And we need about three teaspoons of it. Mmm, sounds so good. One, two, Who's ready for the most amazing cake ever? No, I'm just kidding. I don't want him to see the cake until tomorrow morning, so I need to find a place where I can hide it. Or maybe I tape <laughs> the... Maybe I put it in the fridge and then tape the fridge. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out together. The dough is ready. And we have this cute form. So, zo, zo, zo. La beurre. And, oh, scheiße. Good morning. I'm still super sleepy. It's about seven in the morning. And I'm trying to be very quiet. So I'm not waking Mike off. Um, <laughs> Like, and um, I finished the cake yesterday. This is it, and I'm still trying to figure out if I'm supposed to leave it in this or if I'm trying to carefully take it out. Um, but first, we're making coffee because your girl really needs it this morning. <laughs> to destroy the cake because no risk no fun I'm gonna try to slide up on the sides and see if it's loose or if it's not loose at all The cake is done, Mike is still sleeping, now I'm gonna try to quickly clean the kitchen a bit because obviously I've made a mess as always and these are his birthday gift drawings Happy birthday dear magic Happy birthday to you Bruce 
You did it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. That's what I was sending yesterday when I came home. And you said this. Um, <laughs> what did you even call this again? The fennel has such a strong. Because you burn, it's like seeds. You mm. burn that first on the grill mm. and then you smash them. Yeah, but you did yeah, it. Yeah, but it tastes good. Yeah, you did it. Thank you, my love. But this is so nice. Thanks for. You want another piece? I'm really gonna enjoy this. Ta da! Oh, <laughs> Off we go to a delicious birthday brekkie. I just got my birthday gift present from my wife and she did it in form of a puzzle sort of like I have to see a picture. Sorry, that's not for you guys. I have to see a picture and then this is the first picture I saw. Maybe you guess. I saw this picture. First, what do you think it could be? so what do you think it could be? Write in the comment okay, section. Now if you know it already, you write it in the comments. If not, here's the second clue. This is the second clue. Right. Okay. Do you think you know it as well? If you don't, should the we give the third clue? clue? Yeah. Okay. If, if they don't get it, here's the last clue. This is the last clue. Write down the comment section what you think this present is. We had delicious juice and coffee and shared some avocado toast and pancakes that were overloaded with blueberries. We then strolled around and ended up sitting outside, watching the traffic, planning the day, and Mike getting a bunch of calls from family and friends. Literally, the son came out for his birthday and surprised us with the most beautiful warm weather. Yeah, yeah, that, I saw that. Thank you. Um, plus one today. Um, plus one today. Magic is on the phone all day because everybody is congratulating him. <laughs> How's your birthday going so far? Oh, I'm really super excited. About you know, today. You know I filmed a bit yesterday and today already. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Always surprising me on my birthday. Like it's so crazy how special you know it it is to celebrate your birthday here in Europe. I don't know, maybe for your family particularly. Yeah. Because um I think almost we 20, 20 years of my life I pass one birthday and the other, I don't even notice it, you know. But since I came to Germany, it's always like, I remember every birthday, you know, it has like very beautiful memories. Yeah, and this you is know. already the second birthday. Yeah, I'm already, Germany. I'm already, it's so crazy how time flies, man. My second birthday in Germany, is that not crazy, guys? Yeah. Like, I thought, it, it still feels to me like I came to Germany yesterday, but it's almost two years already, like, that's crazy. But it's not up to two months again, no? It should be already... Oh, no, 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 November. Yeah. I think, yeah. September, October. In November? In two, uh, in two months, you will celebrate your two years in Germany. Yeah. Isn't that great, so, guys? Now, we already had brunch. We already um, did birthday cake and presents. And now, what are we going to do next? Okay, so we want to visit a gallery. She has always wanted to go to that gallery. Is and that not crazy? He's me. doing something on his birthday that I want to do. But then afterwards, it's magic time. Yeah? Yeah. So what are we going to do afterwards? Just we go us. home and sleep. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's his birthday. He wants to sleep. Yeah, maybe invite friends around. I have one or two friends that are coming. I mean, I didn't invite anybody actually. Like, I just, I just um, know that some people will just spontaneously want to come around, and then I, I leave it open. When you come, we just have a good time, and that's what it is. You know. To our place or where? Or to yeah, a to our place, and then maybe we just go out for a drink. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't actually tell anybody about my birthday. That's just the truth because I don't intend to. I think I want to start officially celebrating my birthday properly if God keeps my life from next year. So you said that last year, but yeah, 
let's see yeah i mean um in general you know how it is in germany there's a lot to you know do in order to integrate and you know yeah, put yourself fine. fixed so there's no stress for me already from i said it last year but already for me last year to this year i already achieved a lot you know i've already yeah. come a lot far i further. said it in my ig so story so that's too. really what i i am looking forward to i know that by next year 100 percent i will be way further so I, I will be more relaxed to celebrate birthdays you know and all of that so Look forward to it. It's gonna be my day. Let's go party. Let's go. I just, I just, it's my birthday. I would do what I like. I would walk what I like. Birthday yes. sex. <laughs> okay, let's go there. The light is incredibly beautiful. So we're going on a little walk until we find the exhibition that I've been wanting to go to for the longest time. What does this remind you? Got the tickets and looked at such beautiful pictures. Somehow Tyler Mitchell has the incredible gift of capturing beauty, culture, strength, fashion, family and just strong bonds. We had a lot of fun going around together, talking and just dreaming. At the exit of the exhibition is a photo automat from 1952, so obviously we had to take some couple pictures. And oh my god, look how cute they turned out! Yeah. What are you doing? Like, I've been on since now. Oh shit, it's thinning. The new president. But they turned out so cute. Yeah, it takes oh process. Yeah, see first. So cute. We we're shocked. This one, we we're like, ah! This one, we're kissing this one, and then I think it's nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I love yeah. it. You just came out from the gallery now, for the gallery. How did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was uh, inspired by a black person. It's really nice. I think he did a great job. After this beautiful exhibition and lots of time outside, we thought we would go home and just be taking a little nap, but my friend had other plans. She called us on the way home and said that she is close by and asked if she could come by with cake and a present for Mike. We both got really excited and immediately started making coffee because she is just as addicted as I am. <laughs> Mike decided to keep his birthday simple this year, but one of his friends joined us and we went out for a little birthday dinner. Right now is showing us around. Yes, sir. Showing us a new Afro. Is it West African food? Yeah, it's West. It's definitely Nigerian and West African. Okay. Afro based kitchen. It's Yoruba and Igbo people, so mixed together. Let's go. So Let's you don't need chop. to see sometimes yeah, you don't need to ask too much questions when you want to know where to find some certain things. Yes. You know, sir. African food make people's tummy big. Look at this guy's tummy. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah, me too. I was like, is my eye wrong? Go with the flow. So I have Pierre here, great night, who came around. No, Pierre has always been with me. What am I saying? <laughs> great night came around, and then I just decided to say, okay, let's just go out for dinner. Yep. Yeah, but now I'm about to eat pande de yam and a goosey and okra. Yes. Yeah, this mixture is something I like so much in Nigeria. So Birthday mix. Mm -hmm. I want to try it. Mm -hmm. If 
Say, give you only 